got to my one week post-op appointment for my eye surgery. If I haven't made this clear by now, this was the best thing I've ever done. I just have zero regrets. I, I guess we'll go in and see what they say. I'm hoping that after today, I can start wearing makeup again. <laughs> I know it sounds so ridiculous to some people, but I wanna put mascara on. I wanna be able to look like my normal self again. It is so windy outside, which is Honestly, the hardest part of this eye surgery so far is that naturally your eyes are a little bit dry post-surgery So I have these artificial tears that I keep putting in my eyes um, Just as needed, but when it's super windy like this, I feel like I need them more which is understandable But I just finished all the rest of my eye drops this morning I no longer have to put the antibiotics in my eyes or there was some other one that I was doing I don't even know what it was, but I'm officially done as of today And I think everything's gonna go back to normal today, but we'll see what she says A-P-E-O, very good. How about here? Very good. Anything here? O-N-P-N. Very close. Isn't this Friday much better than last Friday? Yes! Oh my god! <laughs> so everything looks good. We can stop the medicated eye drops. Cool. We can start wearing the shields. Okay. We can put makeup on. We can take makeup off. I'm so yeah. excited! <laughs> I've been waiting for that! Yeah. I'm so excited! Um, this is okay, but I still don't want a big rub. And I am clear! Oh, I think I'm still gonna be like so careful and I, you know what you should be careful with your eyes anyway I guess but I'm like I'm really rough on my body. I'm really rough on in general But I learned at my she didn't she didn't say what my vision officially was did she at my last appointment my one my one day appointment She said my vision was 2015 which is better than 2020 So if anything, it's maybe a little bit better than that, but I forgot to ask what the actual numbers were but it's definitely Over 2020. Oh my gosh, dude I'm gonna go home with my makeup on oh my <laughs> Celebrate with the makeup. It's not even like I do a lot of makeup. It's just I, I need my mascara and some eyeliner. I don't need anything else except my eyebrows, but that's a different story. We're done. My next follow-up appointment is at one month post-op. So that's in like, I guess three weeks, huh? Dude, I just, oh, such an amazing experience. Again, the place that I went to, it's called Griffin and Reed Eye Care, I think, and I saw Dr. Mabuti, and she's so legit. And they're not paying me to say that. I actually, I you know what, I was gonna talk about the cost for, I don't know if it's different depending on what your needs are. It was 2,500 per eye. So it was a total of $5,000. I had a lot of people asking me what the cost was, and I'm sure it can vary a little bit, but it probably mostly stays the same. Yeah, for those of you asking, it was $2,500 per eye, and it was worth every penny. Because even just like, you pay for contacts, you pay for glasses, glasses are not cheap. You know, you pay for all those visits, so really, yeah, prescriptions, not to mention the hassle of your time. Like, you know, money is time, time is money. So it's just so worth it. If you're even considering it, if you qualify for LASIK, don't even, why are you even, why are you even thinking about it? Just do it. I think that deserves for a full-blown face cleanse. I've been trying to be really careful around my eyes, and so I feel like I haven't been washing my face as good as I normally do. So that is what I am going to do right now. I'm going to wash my face, and I think I'm gonna put a little bit of makeup on. Again, you guys, if you know me, I really don't wear a ton of makeup. I don't like cake it onto my face. I just really, because of the nature of being a ginger, I need my eyebrows and my eyelashes. Those are the two things that I was nervous for with doing LASIK and, and not being able to <laughs> feel like myself. It's really not that big of a deal and it's definitely not a big deal to anybody other than me. But I feel like I don't even know if I'm gonna know how to do this anymore. Okay, I'm gonna do it. <laughs> She's back, winged eyeliner and all. It feels good to be 100% back to normal. Speaking of 100% back to normal, we have, this actually has nothing to do with being back to normal. We have three days left of school for the kids. Three days. If you include today, then four days. They have today, they have Monday, Tuesday, and half of Wednesday. Addie is actually graduating out of TK, which is so cute. They do like a kindergarten graduation there, and I didn't know if they were going to include TK or not, because TK technically just, you know, they, they just go from TK into kindergarten. TK stands for transition kindergarten and it's exactly what it sounds like it is the class that transitions the students from being preschool basically into kindergarten so there's only a small window of students who even qualify for that you have to be born between September and December I believe and Addie falls within that so that is why she's actually required well not required technically kindergarten's not required but when you sign up for public school you automatically get put into that TK grade which means that next year she'll be in real kindergarten but I guess she's having a little pro either calling it a promotion ceremony so she's actually gonna graduate 
graduate into kindergarten and then next year she'll graduate out of kindergarten. So cute, I'm not mad about it. But that also means that I only have three days left of kids being at school, AKA silence in the house. Not to mention we get Tommy and Kaden for the majority of the summer too. So we're actually gonna go from having five full time to seven full time. So anything that needs to get done before the kids are home full time needs to get done within this next like less than a week. There's not a whole lot, but I did wanna finally close out and finish up my closet. Our master closet is something that always just turns into a hole, for lack of a better word. It's just like where everything gets stored and pushed away. I just recently went through it again. Anytime we go on a trip, things just end up lingering in here for a while. So the problem is that I needed a little bit more, <laughs> it's gonna sound ridiculous, but I needed more storage space. So actually right here, this is like decorations that I'm not gonna use. This I'm gonna do something with and I got a, these bins from Target that have like little compartments. So I wanna bring those up here and finish out this closet so it can be just ready to go for the summertime. But the end of the year always has so much fun stuff, the end of the school year anyway, including tomorrow is the kids dance recital and I'm so excited about that. So one of the other things that I have to do is go through all of their pieces, make sure they have absolutely everything for tomorrow. That way tomorrow we can just get them ready and go. I have like a little makeup bin for the girls that just has like all their dance makeup. I want to go through that, empty out all the things that are like expired or they don't need, clean it out and just put it away for the summer until the next season. And I'm also hungry. <laughs> I want to eat something. Lily had a debate today. A debate. It's like a standard in school. And so she, you didn't get to pick what side you're on, but hers, hers was against solar panels, right? Yeah. <laughs> and I told, I, I was telling Lilia that we have solar panels. <laughs> What are the arguments against it? Uh, they don't actively charge during the night time. Okay. Okay. Um, they are very expensive, and mm -hmm. if they replace all other types of energy, Stop then they will become first, which will make them way more expensive. Oh. Then they will now. Can I go on the PS4? Okay. I'll think about it. They contain a toxic. They contain toxic stuff, so if they leak, it can get all over the front and back. I didn't, I really? Like it yeah. contains yeah. lead, and like there was this really lead? bad. Lead? Yeah. Lead's bad. Can kill, can yeah, kill and it, and it, nature. <gasps> and it had like other really yeah. bad stuff to it. I it had no idea. Nature. I didn't really remember. I didn't even know solar panels were controversial. A little bit. Yeah. Oh, how do you yeah, feel? So take away a lot of habitat. Like, really? Yeah. Dang. Did you know solar panels were controversial? Solar panels, yeah. What's bad about them? <laughs> we have a lot of solar panels. And do you know it's actually mandatory in California for all the new builds to have them? It's required. Oh my god. Mm -hmm. What's bad about them? So we have them. She, did, she had debate today and she was on. She said she didn't get to pick what side no, she was don't. on. But. Yeah. Uh, they contain a lot of toxic fluids like lead and other stuff that can get you really sick or even kill you. Oh, Something leak they can get like all over your front and backyard. How often do they le leak? I don't know that. Did the opposing side have something to say to that? They said they can cover the leaks with buckets. What? <laughs> they should have had statistics on how often that, that happens, yes. We said, okay, so maybe you could do it with buckets, but how would you clean them out? <laughs> Oh my god, that's funny. Two of the people uh, on the team that, like agreed on that, like the bucket thing. Okay. And then the other person, and, like after the debate, he came up to me and he was like, I don't know how, how they even came up with buckets. <laughs> <laughs> but you have to stand your ground on a debate. You have to. Uh -huh. So after hearing both sides of it, what's your opinion? Are you for him against him? I think I'm in between still. <laughs> <laughs> so what? In between, she says. I'm pro solar panels, I think. <laughs> There's also a lot more reasons. Really? I don't remember them all right now. <laughs> I voted for Lilia's team. You voted for Lilia's team? Did you just vote for her because she's your sister or did you actually agree no, with her? No, she did good. She oh, like, okay. Wow. I stuttered a lot. She stuttered, but she was also like going with the, she was just smooth with it. She was just, she, she was, was smooth. Okay, she was convincing, huh? She was just grooming it. She was just <laughs> stuttering. She just, she was oh, I love that. Yes. The PS4. Kaden's newfound talent is making his own pancakes and he's I was so excited about it. Did you mix this? Yeah, okay, all right. Can't touch that. <laughs> oh, 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 oh. He's excited. Mm. Okay, try not to let it drip, okay? You, 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 what I do drip. is this. And hold it up for a second. Oh, hold on, hold on. Wait for it to stop dripping. No, 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 don't pour. Just 
Yeah. Wait for it to stop tripping for a second, and then kind of go on the edge a little bit, like, and now, now pour it in. There you go. Like how I showed you this morning, Kaden. Yeah. Mom, just make this follow you. Oh, that one. Right now. Are you having some tea, Lil? Are you helping him? Wait, you want one? I'm okay, thank you though. <laughs> Who wants pancake? You want a pancake? You want a pancake? Yeah. Uh, I think you're definitely gonna need more. You remind me of Dippy Fresh. Do you know who that is? I think I know. Isn't that the guy like who like eat pancakes? No, no. no. Oh, I that no. ain't Dippy Fresh. Dippy Fresh is animated. Oh, that's a good pancake. That's a good pancake. That is good. This is Dippy Fresh. Oh, his? Yeah. Oh, that? Yeah. That? Oh, yeah. Wiggity wiggity, what's up, dude, bros? Hey, isn't that when he makes like duplicates of himself? Oh, yeah. no, I'm gonna show you. This is a perfect pancake. Right here? Like yeah, that. that's a perfect pancake. Bro, look at this, Mom. Look at this. What? That's just clean. That what? is just clean. <laughs> you got good pack. Ooh, wow, this that one. is clean. Do you want to cook it just a tiny bit more? I know. <laughs> just a little, little bit, just because it's a little doughy. Little doughy. Yeah, no, oh, oh. yeah. I'll do a little bit longer, but it's very beautiful. So can you wake up about let's say five six a.m. You want me to wake up at five a.m. Five six a.m. Why? We have five thirty. You're not even up at five a.m. Six thirty a.m. or six a.m. To make a big breakfast for everyone. Yes. Oh my goodness, you are. So I'll make the pancakes. You'll make the yes. bacon. I did it, Mom. Good job, buddy. So I'll make the pancakes, you make the bacon. Kaden had PJ it. day at school today. He wasn't like this. So we, <laughs> There's I, a reason. <laughs> He's dressed like this. I'm gonna make pancakes. These ones are for lunch. Okay. Okay. I'll think about it, okay? I'll think about it if I want to set my alarm as for 6.30 on a Saturday. We'll see. Look at that. Oh my God, bro. It's so beautiful. <laughs> Okay, I wanted to show you guys the kind of like finished product of my closet. I worked so long and hard on this and I am not like an Instagram organizer. When I organize my stuff, it all has a spot but it doesn't look that pretty. So bear with me but I just, my mind feels so clear now after doing all this. I wanna sh show you guys. This is the aftermath of the closet. If you can see what I mean, like it's not like all these like pretty kind of things but they're very useful, okay? Let me show you. So this for one is Chris's area. So this is the area that I don't really touch. I do not claim that area. There was so much junk right here, you guys. I cannot even begin to explain. So I actually have some empty shelves that I will probably do something with. Up here is where we keep our suitcases and some of these suitcases actually go inside of each other. Like this one fits inside of this one and then this one fits inside of that one. But I'm about to start packing and I need this one. So I could probably put this one in this one, but I might need that one too. That's my carry-on. I don't know. Anyway, that's why I didn't condense all those. I did condense these though. There's two inside of this one. So again, I know it looks crazy, but it's all useful stuff. These are all of my fanny packs and small purses. I have them hanging on a bar right here. This is the area that I'm most proud of. This is the travel section. So on our right, we have all of my Disney stuff. Anything that I need for Disney. I've got my Disney ears, my Disney backpacks. In here, I've got some Disney pins, which I'm actually going to give to the kids. I just need to figure out who's gonna get what. My fabulous little Disney pouch. I love this thing, so cute. I have my magic bands. These are for Disney World only for now. Disneyland is actually going to be bringing magic bands to the park but not quite yet and I don't think they'll be interchangeable but we will definitely be going to Disney World again at some point I've got my Disney straw I've got like this bubble thing backpacks and then this is my go-to travel backpack anytime I travel I bring this thing it's amazing I don't even know when or where I got it well I got it several years ago but it's just so basic it's nothing fancy I've got swimsuits under here over here I have all of the travel pillows I have tr like travel blow-up things for an overnight flight that way kids can like lay on them or um it's kind of hard to explain. Right here I have some specific plugs. We were supposed to go to Africa two years ago. Literally a week after the world shut down, we were supposed to go to Africa. Obviously that didn't happen, but those are special plugs and I don't know, I guess I should keep them in case I ever do go. This is all of my travel size stuff. So we've got like antibacterial spray, sunscreen, um, like little travel sized aloe, travel sized shampoo and conditioner, all of our like wet wipes. These are all makeup remover wipes, tissues, Q-tips, you can see. I've got some liquid IV in here here for if I'm traveling somewhere where I know I'm gonna have a good time. These are travel boosters. These things are amazing. I bring them pretty much anywhere we go when we travel with like littler kids. And here I have our sound machines, our external hard drives. These are all ponchos for if and when we go somewhere that where we need those. Rubber bands, I'll often use these when I'm packing. And here we have 
some more miscellaneous things like um, power strips. Uh, I have these little fans for if we travel anywhere, I have a bunch of them in there. These are up for grabs. I've got all beach wear kind of stuff in here. I've got more sunscreen. These are like the bigger sunscreen. And then down here I have all of my extra facial stuff. So this one isn't really for travel, but it ended up there. That's my toaster that I bring everywhere, and then that is random for music. Of course, over here, we've got all kinds of clothes. I've got my jewelry. This is for Halloween this year. It's supposed to be for Halloween last year, but since I had COVID, we ended up canceling our plans, so we're going to hopefully do this costume this year. In here, I have warm stuff in here, like hats and socks and kinds of things. This is kind of a costumey thing, like things that I'll use for like a random TikTok or something. I've got all my drawers here, and then this. I got these bins from Target, you guys, and I I want to go get a hundred more of them. I love them. I will try to link them if I can find them, but I've got my socks. This is all of like the kids hairsprays, which I use more often than you would think. This is color chalk, Halloween makeup, um, like sparkles, random things like that. And then I've got nail polish and stuff down there. So like I said, not super pretty, but I, I cannot even tell you the weight that is lifted off of my shoulders. I feel like I know where everything is in here now. I feel so much better about it, but I wanted to show you that before I ended today's video. But that's it for today's video, guys. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you have a fantastic day. Make sure you go follow us on Instagram. Subscribe if you're not subscribed. Go follow us on TikTok. I love you all so much. Have a fantastic day. We'll see you in our next video. Bye, guys. Bye.